Imagine having the greatest player in the world as your dad and not wanting to have anything to do with him. Thiago Messi's life is a roller coaster, man, and the decision he took about his life at such an early age will leave you stunned. Back when Messi was still at Barca, his son Thiago got to witness the magic firsthand. In Spain, Messi was like a god. He legit scored over 500 goals in La Liga, won multiple trophies, five Champions Leagues, and so many individual awards. Thiago was born in 2012, the year when Messi won his fourth Ballon d'Or alone, and his birth came as a surprise to almost all his fans. Messi and his wife Antonella had been keeping the news a secret until Messi decided it was time his fans figured out the truth. So, in a friendly game for Argentina versus Paraguay, Messi put out a secret sign that made everyone realize Leo 2.0 was on his way. A few years after Thiago was born, it became clear the kid was destined to play the game from early on, unlike his dad, who never should have even played football. Early on, even though Leo loved the game as a kid, because of his stature, people looked down on him, including academy coaches. So, when they had games, Messi was left out of the team. It wasn't until his grandma came in and forced his way into the starting 11 that Messi got the chance to play. And when he finally got on that turf, he made the most of it. For Thiago, everything was silky smooth. Once Messi realized just how much the kid loved the game, he had him signed into the Barcelona Academy. And straight away, the kid started making waves. The coaches knew firsthand that he was Messi's son because of how talented he was. And even though he had many special moments in the academy, nothing beats the time when he had La Masia on lock and caught the attention of the entire world. Thiago was repping the Barca under 10's team and in a game crying out moments of magic, the kid turned into his dad and dropped an insane performance. A hat-trick. Damn, the kid's already scoring hat-tricks at 8. When I was 8, I couldn't kick a ball straight. Soon as people caught news of Thiago's amazing performance, he had coaches from other senior levels at the club all coming to watch him play. And right there, a plan had already developed to turn Thiago into the next big attacking prospect at the club. And heck, even replace his dad someday. Until the kid changed his mind and shocked the entire world. After his incredible hat trick, Thiago was the talk of the academy, until he did something else that made talk of the city. See, as crazy as this might sound, right after bagging this hat trick for the Barca under 10s, Thiago decided to switch positions. The thing is, Thiago had always had a thing for goalies, and the one at Barca was blowing his mind. Mark Andre to Stegen, the German Spider Man. Thiago, just like other kids his age and even Barca supporters, pulled up to the Camp No to watch him make saves week in and week out. Like this jaw-dropping stop against Sevilla. Nah, I don't think the human body is supposed to jump that high, man. Insane stuff. But you see, guys, it was in 2020 that Tostigan made a save which had Thiago going nuts in the biggest game in the world, El Clasico. And because this one was being played at Real Madrid's Bernabeu Stadium, away from home for Thiago and his dad Messi, Thiago had to stay home and watch. And the Real Madrid defense kept pumping them. Tostigan was keeping the team in the match with some impressive stops, but nothing beats this one he made against Isco, man. The hell! What a save! Can't really blame Thiago for deciding to switch positions after watching this. I just did, and I'm about to spend my three months allowance on goalie gloves from Wish. But if Thiago really decides to switch positions to the goalie role, he might have some stiff competition in the coming years, especially at national team level, because Argentina's first choice goalie is top tier. Emiliano Martinez at last year's World Cup, Thiago got front row seats to watching Martinez make stunning saves to keep his country in the tournament, and was even in the stadium when Martinez made the biggest save of his life. I still get goosebumps just watching that save. Insane. After his position switched, the Barca coaches had decided to allow the kid to make his own decisions, and started training him to become the next big goalie without the club, with help from Ter Stegen too, until the news hit a few months later that completely changed everything. For years, Thiago, his dad Messi, and all his family had stayed at Barca. It was the only place they'd ever known. But in a shocking turn of events, some really shady stuff was happening at the club, and because of that, Thiago's future was in danger. At first, the Barca board thought they'd found a loophole to keep Thiago and his dad in Spain, until they came face to face with the truth. The only way they could save the club was if they let Messi leave. Tearfully, Messi said his goodbyes in the coming days. And for Thiago, his life was about to change. 
change. Because on that plane to Paris, he was leaving behind everything he knew. At his new club, Messi didn't want the media following his kids in a new country because he knew they wouldn't be able to handle the pressure. So even when he signed Thiago into the PSG Academy, he kept it a secret and away from the world. But I'm not so sure Thiago enjoyed his time in Paris too. Just like his dad, because just two years in, and Messi called it quits. This time, Messi knew his next career decision wasn't just going to be for himself, but for his kids too. Thiago was now 11 years old and was about entering the next stage of his football career. So, in the end, with everyone thinking Messi was going to pick a return ticket back to Spain, he instead chose to live out his career on a sunny beach in Miami, GTA style. Into Miami. Can't really blame Messi, man. He's already completed career mode and is basically just surfing in real life. Kind of seems like the switch in countries affected Thiago too because now he no longer wanted to be a goalie. He was showing signs of becoming something else. A tackle like that on his bro. That's a centre back right there. Thiago's doing a tour of every position in the game at this point. I bet he can comfortably slot in at centre back or anywhere in defence with what I've just seen. The hell. Messi's one lucky dude. His son is probably one of the most versatile youngsters in the world. Maybe he's still exploring his options or maybe it's because he's addicted to the game. For Messi, his kids are everything, and he doesn't hide this from anyone. He's admitted the truth multiple times. During the most difficult period of his life, that move to PSG, Messi opened up about life with Thiago, and just how important the kid is to his life. Thiago is a very nice kid. He didn't talk much after the move to Paris. He just kept to himself at first, but after every game, he analyzed it and told me things I could have done better. It's either this kid plays too much football man for his age or he's really smart. I'm not gonna lie, at first I thought Messi was just hyping his kid until I realised that Thiago had already subscribed to Mr. Football just like his dad. And that's when I knew he wasn't capping. The kid has brains, he's 12 years old and knows ball. Amazing. Thiago always looks out for his dad and Messi knows that if not for him, the crowning moment in his career last year would have never happened. Argentina came into the 2022 World Cup with a lot of expectations and for Thiago and his family, this one was going to mean a lot more. Because earlier, their dad Messi had made the shocking announcement. This World Cup edition will be my last. Messi's final shot at winning the one trophy that he'd always wanted. Back when Thiago was two in 2014, Messi came close, reaching the final with Argentina but just falling short, losing to Germany in the final. So eight years later, in 2022, he knew he'd have to give this one everything he'd got or it'll be over. Messi also knew he'd need all the help he could get, so he had his family fly down to come be with him in Qatar throughout the entire tournament. But the opening game didn't go as planned. It was a disaster. Argentina took the lead early on through Messi, and with them being on a 35-game winning streak coming into this match, the entire stadium, heck the entire world, thought this one was going to be smooth sailing. But Saudi Arabia didn't read the script, and in the second half, they ruined the party. A comeback win from Saudi and Messi and Argentina were in danger. After the game, many Argentine fans were left disappointed. Some were even crying, man, including Thiago's junior bro Mateo. But once again, Thiago was the calm head in the situation. And instead of ranting out to his dad, well, I'll just show you what Messi said instead. My kids suffer like the other Argentine fans. Mateo was crying a lot after the defeat, but Thiago remained calm and analyzed the situation, telling me that if we won both remaining group stage games, we could qualify. This kid be acting like young Sheldon. The football version, that is, because I don't mean to drag the kid or anything, but uh, I'm not so sure he'd been paying attention in math class. Right after Messi won his seventh Ballon d'Or, he got to display it on a dining table in front of his family. And when Thiago came into the room, it was either he couldn't believe it or had lost his ability to count. <laughs> Entonces si te lo si te lo ganas vas a tener ocho. No, sí, ojalá tenía seis. Ojalá. ¿Qué? Tenía seis. Por eso es que siete y si te lo ganas y si te lo ganas este año ocho. Este, este año es el nuevo final. Este es ocho, claro. Ah.
Or maybe he knows his dad stole one off Wesley Snyder back in 2010. Just kidding, man, but being messy does come with some incredible perks. Imagine pulling up to a venue and having all eyes on you as the son of the goat. Every kid's dream. Except Tiago. Messi has always known Tiago is different. The kid likes to keep to himself and doesn't say much. And when it comes to media attention, he hides from it. This one time, Messi and his family were returning from a flight back to Barcelona and at the airport entrance, they had a lot of photographers waiting to take pictures and people holding shirts and papers or autographs. Messi and his wife stopped, but for Tiago, he wasn't even interested. The kid just walked past like he didn't see them. See guys, even Messi knows Mateo doesn't like the spotlight. And if you're still doubting this, then what you're about to see next will leave you stunned. Footballers always wear their surnames at the back of jerseys instead of their real names. That's why Leo wears Messi instead of his first name, and CR7 wears Ronaldo instead of Cristiano. But for Thiago, he's determined to break the tradition and change the rules because of one special reason. According to Messi, Thiago wants to form his own path in the game. He doesn't want any special favours because he's Messi's kid. Instead, he wants to be treated like the rest of his teammates. Just ask Messi. Thiago is different when playing for the Inter Miami Academy. He only glances at me and that's it. He doesn't want to be referred to as the son of Messi. He wants to be known as Tiago, unlike his brother Matteo who is constantly applauding and following everything I do. Because of this, once Tiago noticed that wearing Messi on his back was giving him a lot of unnecessary attention, he asked for permission to take it off. And since then, he's just stuck to wearing Tiago instead. The balls on this kid are huge for his age. If that's me, I'm milking my last name straight up. Kinda seems like the name change didn't affect his game. If anything, it's taken him to a whole new level. Because now at Inter Miami, Thiago's a baller. Once he came into the academy, the experience from La Masia at Barca and the PSG Academy immediately set Thiago miles apart. Now at his new club, Thiago was taking on a new role as leader of his age group and completely transformed into a beast on the field. But this transformation wasn't immediate though because early on, Thiago still found it tough. Just like Paris, this was was a new city, a new country, and a new language. And if he was going to fit in, Thiago knew he had to adapt. Football kept him going early on until something happened that threatened to end this. He got an injury to his left wrist, and while most kids his age would just stay home and rest up until the injury healed, Thiago bandaged up and didn't miss a minute of the action. This brave decision from him made him stand out straight up and made the coaches at Inter Miami know he was the next big thing at the club. So they gave him the number 10 jersey and moved him to the under 12s. Now it was time for the real deal, because the main action was about to start and this was Thiago's opportunity to show people watching just how talented he was. And there was no way gonna pass this up. Thiago's official stats for his first two games at Inter Miami will blow your mind. In two games, he scored three goals and recorded four assists. That's seven goal contributions in two games. Amazing. Thiago looks like he's loving life in Miami. He's making new friends, learning a new language, and has been so impressive that his dad faked an injury for three weeks just to come watch him play. It's very clear if Thiago keeps this up, he'd become the future of football for years to come. And maybe become like his dad. Or even better. Plus, it kind of feels like he's playing out his dad's life now, only better. Because just like his dad back in the day, Thiago has a secret girlfriend that he might just end up sticking with and building a family together. Like Messi and Antonella. Click the next video to find out who Thiago's secret girlfriend is.